In the head-to-head -head series, I show you two different patients with two similar radiologic appearances. Let's see if you can use clues to tell you what the two diagnoses are. Today's topic is a tonsillar mass. One. Here's the axial image. This is the area of interest right here. And a coronal image shows you some of the same findings. That's patient number one. Here's patient number two. Once again, we're looking at the palatine tonsil right here. I'll put them next to each other for you. Here's patient number one and patient number two next to each other. This would be a good time to pause the video. Look at these two images and see if you can figure out what the two different diagnoses are. Then I'll show you some additional images of each patient. Here's some clues about patient number one. I'll give you a follow-up image. Here's the image at presentation that I've already shown you, and here is the same patient six weeks later, no intervention. Now what do you think this is? Here's some additional images on patient number two. These are both from the same time, both from the presentation scan, but this newer image on the right is a little further inferior down the neck. Does that help you? What do you think is going on with patient one and patient two? So here they are next to each other again. Both of these patients have enhancing masses in the palatine tonsil. In this patient, maybe there's a little more infiltration into the surrounding fat like you'd see in an inflammatory uh, situation. And here, things are a bit more well-defined. Also, we know that this is going to get better all by itself. Obviously, cancers don't do that. This is an infection. This is all just phlegmin, expanding the tonsil and infiltrating into the surrounding soft tissues as cellulitis. Whereas this one had large necrotic lymph nodes. You can just see the top of them here, and they were better seen on that second image I showed you. This patient has a cancer. This is a squamous cell carcinoma with metastatic lymphadenopathy. Note how similar they are if you just look at the tonsils. So the two main considerations when we're talking about pathology of the palatine tonsil are infection and tumor. The tumors we see there are squamous cell carcinoma, of which this is an example, and lymphoma. Um, sometimes the infection takes the form of a peritonsillar abscess. Sometimes it takes the form of an acute tonsillitis with that serpentine pattern of enhancement that we see in acute tonsillitis. And sometimes it's a diffuse phlegmin throughout the gland with a surrounding cellulitis, like in this case, that can be very difficult to distinguish from cancer. When I went looking for a comparison cancer case to that phlegmon. This came out from my teaching file. Before I showed it, I figured I'd better get path confirmation. I didn't want to just use it as an example of tonsillar squamous cell carcinoma without being certain. And it's another example of chronic infection. So the bottom line is it's really hard to tell the difference between a mass-like chronic infection and a malignancy in the palatine tonsils. Your best bet is to call it a mass and recommend tissue sampling, unless you've got something really obvious, like those necrotic nodes in patient number two.